five years ago in 2008, uh, the NIH put together a panel of hypertension experts to create a new set of guidelines for treatment of hypertension. And this was the eighth uh, group of experts pulled, uh, that were assembled. Um, and the previous set of guidelines, the seventh set, was published in 2003. So now we're out 10 years from those previous guidelines. So the guidelines were to be um, drafted in an entirely different way um, based on an extensive search of the medical literature and pulling out the highest quality trials, um, randomized controlled trials, uh, to base decisions for treatment on the results of those trials. And so this is an evidence-based set of guidelines. Right. So there are some changes in this set of guidelines from the previous set, uh, really uh, three different uh, changes. Um, first of all, for patients who have hypertension who are 60 or older, the current recommendation is to treat them to a systolic blood pressure of 150 or of less than 150 millimeters mercury and a diastolic blood pressure of less than 90. And that's different than the previous guideline, which essentially said that anybody with hypertension should be treated to uh, under 140 systolic and 90 diastolic. So there's been a change in that target for patients who are 60 or older. Um, the second uh, difference is that uh, past guidelines have recommended that patients who have diabetes or have kidney disease be treated to a lower blood pressure target than somebody who doesn't have those conditions. So the target was 130 over 80 or lower for those individuals. And the new set of guidelines recommends uh, a target of 140 over 90, so getting the blood pressure below those numbers for all individuals um, under age 60, whether they have diabetes or chronic kidney disease or not. And that does include uh, individuals who are older than 60 who have diabetes or chronic kidney disease. And the reason for that is that there, at this time, there really is no evidence that treating to a lower target is better. So by uh, reducing the, the intensity of treatment, by using, having to use less medication and not having to get the blood pressure down as low, doctors um, are less likely to have uh, their patients having side effects from either over-treatment, uh, blood pressure too low, or from too much medication. Right, so the third difference in this set of guidelines from the previous is that um, the uh, recommendation is to, to use a medication from one of four different classes of blood pressure lowering medication. In the past, uh, thiazide type diuretics were recommended as the preferred starting medication, but now uh, the new set of guidelines uh, equally recommends four different types, including thiazide type diuretics, but three other classes of medication. I think that um, there's been a trend nationally and internationally to base decision making and guidelines on evidence, the highest level of scientific evidence. And that is the uh, intention and the result shown in these guidelines is that they, they are evidence based and uh, in that way we can decide how much to treat uh, our patients and avoid over treatment.